Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today I'll be talking about the Sony lenses that I have. Last time I told you about the uh, five or six uh, Sony cameras that I invested in and uh, I highly recommend them. Uh, this time around I'm going to talk about the lenses I have because without the uh, lens, the camera is useless, right? So let's go through the type of uh, lens I have. The first one I want to mention is uh, the prime lens. Okay, I'll talk about the prime lens first. Uh, the one that I highly recommend, if it's the first uh, lens, the professional lens that you want, is the 28mm f2 FE lens. It's a full frame lens. Look at how small it is. Okay, this is on my uh, A5000. This is the lens I bring along all the time when I'm uh, doing family uh, event and all that stuff. Uh, parties and all that because it's a wide angle lens and you know it's one of those one that uh, if you bring along you're not going to miss a shot because it covers you know the wide angle like a group shot as well if you want to get a close-up shot you can do that just move up closer so uh, if you bring this lens you're going to get all the shot you needed now I also have another lens oh by the way the reason this lens is great is because it's fast focusing right and um, the perceived megapixel is 35 megapixel. You can check dxomark.com for that. Very sharp and very fast. So fast focusing, I mean, okay? The next one, of course, uh, which is also I highly recommend, this would be the first two prime lens I highly recommend that you get, is the 55 f1.8 uh, Zeiss Sony lens. This one is also a full frame lens, well built to all metal. Um, this lens is extremely sharp. It's actually one of the sharpest that Sony developed. It's uh, check dxomark.com and the me perceived megapixel is 40. 40 megapixel is excellent on the, um, uh, you put it on the Sony A7R2 or R3. You'll get all the megapixel that you want. Uh, yeah, on that one. Okay, clear as a, I don't know what you want to describe as extremely clear. Um, also very fast focusing as well. So uh, that's the second uh, highly recommended prime lens I would say you want to get. Okay. The other one, uh, other prime lens, which I say if you can afford it, uh, is this one here. This is the 35, 135, sorry, 135 mils f1.8 uh, Zeiss Sony lens. This is actually an A mount lens, so you need a special adapter, the A mount adapter to the E mount uh, camera. So uh, you need a, the one I have is the LAEA4 adapter. Um, this is a very well built, heavy obviously, uh, all metal with except for the ring. The focusing ring is, uh, I think it's, uh, it looks to me, feels like plastic, but that, uh, that's the only part that's plastic. But the rest of them is all metal. And um, when you take a, a portrait photo on this one, it is just incredibly smooth background. It's like blurry, creamy, dreamy, whatever the word you want to say, bokeh, right? Uh, a beautiful uh, photo is coming from this uh, lens. Very, very sharp as well. I would say equivalent to the um, 55 f1.8 Zeiss sense that I had. Uh, it's the only problem, of course, is a bit slow. Uh, when you take a video, uh, sorry, a photo on this one, you got to take your time, right? You want a perfect shot, you got to take time to do this. You might have to do manually um, from time to time because it's just extremely close uh, up shot, and so you can uh, miss up a shot because the it's of the uh, narrow uh, depth of uh, view. Uh, so, you know, you, you, you know, have to be really precise in when you're doing uh, focusing on this thing. Uh, but with the A7R3, you know, with its uh, focus peaking and a high resolution EVF, this is the lens to have uh, on the A7R3. Okay. I love this lens. I only use it occasionally, especially when somebody requests me, can you do a portrait photo of me or whatever? Like, this is the lens I would bring. I would say, you'll love it right i mean you make them look like they're a movie stars this is the lens to have right the last prime lens that i have which is not a sony um it's not native it's actually a canon one i have a manual adapter for it this is the 105 macro sigma lens okay it's uh, sigma it's very very cheap i got it um used uh, for under 200 dollars but now it's actually a uh, autofocus uh lens but the problem with that is if i put a uh, third-party uh, adapter um, 
it was it's not very good okay so I end up getting the just the manual adapter and plug that in and it works really well and you know for macro that's what you need right because remember macro lens is that you you look uh, you're taking a close-up shot so you're talking about 10 centimeter or 15 centimeter from the object that you're recording so like for example let's say you're doing wedding as a ring or you're doing a, you know you're a nature photographer and you're looking at an insect and all that stuff this is definitely the uh, the lens to have it's very affordable um, put it on your a7r3 and you'll love it okay beautiful uh, bokeh and creamy background uh, isolate your image uh, and then you get this beautiful shot um, manual focus obviously but excellent lens okay those are all my prime lens I have now let's talk about the um, the, the zoom lens that I have okay the first one is the um, 28 70 mils f 1.8 this is a Minolta a mount lens again notice here I have the adapter so I use that with my uh, 135 uh, Zeiss a mount lens right so this lens is um, it's not as sharp as the Sony however the uh, color com that comes from this the, the co color rendition is pr very nice okay and it's very affordable it's about third of price of uh, the G master right when buying even when you buy it new you can now you can't buy it news now because it's they don't make it anymore you buy it used you probably get it for under seven hundred dollars in fact even cheaper than that I've seen on uh, eBay uh, five hundred dollars US dollars right of course you still need the adapter buy that adapter so you're looking at about um, seven hundred dollars US used with the adapter compared to like the Sony uh, uh, G master you look close to 2500 so there's no comparison between the the price on this and the other one of course you know the compromise is the the sharpness but I'm very proud of this lens. it's a bit slow because it's an a mount lens it's not an e mount lens so you know but for, for uh, portrait uh, photography um, this is the lens to have because you know the object is pretty uh, static um, there's not much movement then this uh, lens is um, uh, great to have and it's very affordable okay um, the next one I want to talk about uh, is this manual lens I have. This is not a um, Sony. This is a Canon. I had a special uh, manual adapter as well. Now this one is a um, 6300 mils uh, manual lens. This is a full frame as well. Uh, this is a Tamron actually. The one, the other one I had was uh, Sigma. This is, um, oh sorry, Minota. And this one is a Tamron, Tamron uh, SP 6300. Now it is it's a variable aperture of uh, 3.8 uh, to 5.4, but this lens that I bought used from Henry's, uh, something they, they did something to it that it's now fixed at 3.8. I don't know what they did to it, like they changed the aperture ring, maybe they removed it or something. But now it's only 3.8 fixed, so it's close to 4 f4. You could say f4, right, or f3.8. Amazing, like f4, and it's uh, 60 to 300 mils manual lens um, for I bought it for less than a hundred I think wow and it's almost new okay sometimes you get this type of bargain and um, I, I, I think I I sh shown you a, a video a picture of it uh, about six seven months ago and uh, I went to a Blue Jay game and this lens did not fail me it was amazing okay very good lens um, didn't have to spend a lot of money for these um, zoom lens at all if you're okay with manual um, do you have any other lens I have? There was one more, I think. I don't. I think that's. Oh yeah, right. There's one right on in front of me. The uh, I mentioned this already. The uh, 1855 mils um, variable kit lens here, variable aperture. Uh, this is the lens that I highly recommend if you're starting out with, uh, let's say, uh, a5000 or NEX 3N. So if you're going to start with uh, getting a lens, 1855 uh, OSS kit lens is the way to go okay okay and my last lens that I have is the 18 105 mils f4 APS-C lens on my uh, super 35 sensor camera the FS 700 R uh, very good lens because it cover all angles from 18 to 105 now f4 aperture is a little bit uh, on the low end but still you know for the price this is a good lens the G lens from Sony um, you know for the price tag I think it's definitely you know doable with this camera here okay um, I'm not 
I'm not going to be complaining about it because it does give me a very good image that come out of from uh, this lens. You can do 4K uh, image, high quality, no problem. So that's about it. Uh, I have the eight lens that I mentioned, including this one. So that's all that I'll be using. Uh, I mean, I could get more, but it's very expensive. This is why I, I buy used lens. All these lenses that I mentioned are used. I got half the price that normally what it would cost. So that saved me some money. And then now I pretty much have all the gears that needed to do all the filmings. What I forgot to mention, of course, is the, um, I think I mentioned uh, in my previous videos regarding the type of camera I have is the action cam. It's a, you don't need a special lens for that one. It's already come with it. Um, those are specialized type of camera. I, I use it for like a very extreme angle shot and you know water in a water tight situation. For example, if you're in water, you don't want to use any of the lens that, uh, lens or camera that I mentioned because they're not waterproof, right? You have to have a special casing, and those special casing uh, are very expensive. So if you're doing a water scene like diving in water, in water, whatever it is. Action cam with a special uh, waterproof casing would be the best uh, to get, okay? So that's a, a Sony uh, action cam. Other than that, I pretty much have all the cameras and the gears needed to do short films. So I'm looking forward to do a uh, short film this summer. And if you join me, I'll show you what I've learned and the technique, my, how I'm gonna approach it. Um, haven't come up with a uh, full script yet, but hopefully, you know, I have some in mind and we're gonna start with that, okay? Thanks for watching, educatetube.com.